Hi guys, let's look at uh, student management system. I'll be taking you how to construct a student management system. So this is the ER diagram whereby we shall have an entity student, we shall have an entity grade, we shall have an entity enrollment, we shall have course, assignment and teacher. So basically on the other hand, this one also will be our table whereby we shall be coming up with a student management system so guys these are the the table so our system will be student records management system then we shall have students table which will contain a student id as the primary key first name last name date of birth gender and address and last contact that is the first table students table then we shall have the courses table where we shall have the course ID as the primary key, course name and credits. Then we shall have enrollment table where we shall have the enrollment ID as the primary key. Then we shall have student ID as the foreign key, course ID as the foreign key and also we shall have enrollment date. Then guys we shall have the teachers table where we shall have the teacher ID as the primary key. We shall have the first name, uh, last name, and contact number of the teacher. Then we shall have the grades table, where we shall have the grade ID as the primary key, enrollment ID as the foreign key, and the score. Then we shall have assignments table, where we shall have the assignment ID as the primary key. We shall have the course ID as the foreign key, teacher ID as the foreign key, then assignment name and due date. Guys, the purpose of having these foreign keys is because of the relationships and also uh, to, uh, to help me enhance the referential integrity. So uh, we, uh, the, uh, we can also again go back to our ER diagram, whereby this one will show the relationship, whether it is one to many or many to many relationships among the entities. So guys, this is the ER diagram of the system so in my next uh, video i'll be doing the system construction using microsoft access and so guys uh, let's create the student management system so we begin by uh, going to this pod part here uh, so we first of all create a folder so uh, we shall create a folder right click go to new then go to uh, Microsoft Access, so we can just have it as students records management system. Then we launch Microsoft Access uh, to be precise. So we start by creating the tables. So we go to create table design. Here in the table design, guys, uh, we shall create the student ID. This is our primary key. This is, uh, should be text and primary key. Then we proceed to the first name, uh, first name. Then we shall go to last name, last name. We shall then go to date of birth. This is uh, date and time. Then we shall have to go to gender. This we can use lookup wizard, go to lookup wizard. Then use option number two. I will type in the values that I want to go to next. Then here we shall have female and then male. You can just have others. Then next, finish. Again, guys, we proceed. The next one is address. Address. Uh, then we shall have the contact. Uh, contact number. So this is our table number one. We shall have this one as uh, students table. Guys, we cross this one, we proceed to the next one, go to create table design. Again, we now create the courses table, so we have the course uh, ID. Uh, this is the primary key, uh, sorry, text, primary key. Then we shall have the course name, course name. Then we shall have credits, credits. So guys, we save this one as course, that is our as course courses table again we cross this one we go to the next table design 
then you shall go to enrollment 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 id which is our primary key then you shall have the student uh, student id remember this this one is, is the foreign key then you shall have a course uh, that is the course course id then you shall have the enrollment and enrollment uh, date enrollment date uh, this is date and time then so uh, here we have the enrollment id uh, student id as the foreign key course id as the foreign key so this one is saved as a uh, enrollment and enrollment then we proceed to the next table the next table is grades table so we just go to create uh, we have the grade id this is our primary key then we shall have the enrollment enrollment uh, uh, id that is enrollment id as our foreign key and then the score that's the score the score there then after doing this one this is the saved as the the grades then we proceed to the next table the next table is teachers table so we shall have the teacher id uh, the teacher id this is our primary key then we shall have the first name uh, the first name of the teacher the last name of the teacher then we shall have the contact uh, contact number of the teacher then uh, you'll notice that um, this table must be connected to the others so we first of all save this one as the teacher table then from there we create our last table our last table is assignment table so we shall have assignment uh, id we shall have the course id we shall have the teacher id uh, that is the teacher teacher id uh, this one now will bring the connection we shall have the assignment name uh, assignment uh, assignment name then uh, once we have the assignment name we shall have the due date the due date this is date and time so guys this is the assignment as the primary key then we save this one this one is assignment assignment so uh, so far we have uh, created our six tables this is the basics uh, the, the basics of our system remember uh, uh, here uh, our system is uh, our system is um, let me just open the uh, that is the ER diagram so here you notice that our system is following this ER diagram whereby we have the course uh, we have the assignment we have the teacher student grade and enrollment so guys in my next video i'll be doing the queries forms and reports and then uh, complete the system so that you can see how this relationship comes up guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't done that way also like and share my videos